Hey guys, it's Kevin, and I'm what the French call les incompetents. <laughs> well, you wouldn't get that joke if you haven't watched Home Alone, and if you haven't, I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm out here in beautiful Idaho today, once again a couple hours from my home in a different spot. Um, I'm right beside a frozen lake, I snowshoed in here, it's a beautiful blue sky day again. And I'm just here for the day. I built a fire, made some tea. Uh, if you're lucky, I might crack a special beer later. But I kind of just wanted to talk to you, give you kind of a bit of an introduction and an explanation of this channel I started a couple months ago, because I haven't really done that. I'm kind of going to answer a few questions like, who am I, the purpose of the channel, what to expect in future episodes. So... I grew up camping. I I mean, I've camped since I was a baby, and I have the pictures to prove it. I'm blessed that my parents got me started really young, and they, they saw vacations as getting out in the wilderness, building campfires, roasting marshmallows and hot dogs, and getting dirty. And we didn't really do a whole lot of the stereotypical vacations where you hop on an airplane and um, get a hotel. And I'm very thankful for that. Um, so I'm Canadian. I grew up in beautiful British Columbia. From there, I've moved to Alberta for work, then down to Montana, over to Idaho, where I am now. I'm in Boise, Idaho, which is so far one of my favorite places I've ever lived. It's really cool, really cool place to live. Um, so just what inspired me to get into bushcraft beyond just going out and camping at a campground was... To be honest, a lot of those YouTube channels that are up there on there right now, like Joe Robinette, watched a lot of him. Um, TA Outdoors, MCQ Bushcraft, um, Justin Barber, Hayes Outdoors, all really awesome, knowledgeable guys, and they have really inspired me to get out and start doing some of this myself. So kind of while I was watching them and learning from them, I started building up my own bushcraft kit. So over the last few months... Um, it can, it's expensive, so it, I definitely didn't do it all at once, but I slowly started buying more stuff for my bushcraft kit, and now I'm at the point where I can kind of get out and do some of this stuff. Um, so basically what the purpose of this channel is, basically to just show my own journey and my own learning experience. Uh, I'm definitely no expert. I'm kind of a beginner bushcrafter, so I won't necessarily be teaching but I'm more so here for other new people kind of like me to help you get into it and get inspired to get out and start doing some of this stuff. Uh, it kind of gives you a different point of view um, to be able to watch someone that's at my level rather than someone that's way above where we, we are. So hopefully you can watch some of my episodes and maybe be inspired to get out and do some of this yourself. And so what to expect in the future? Well... I got a lot of fun things planned, like more than I could even make a list of, but just 
a few things. Uh, I'd like to really do some shelter camping. So building sh uh, tarp shelters as well as natural shelters out of trees and stuff. So that's one thing. Um, obviously more hot tent and winter camping, although winter here is starting to be over soon. I know you see snow in the background, but it was actually... Um, it was in, it was in the 50s today Fahrenheit, which I believe is like 15 to 18 degrees Celsius range. So yeah, it was a beautiful warm day, and I'm guessing the snow isn't going to be around, around for much longer. Um, other things I'm going to be doing, um, day trips, just doing some skill building stuff, um, fire starting, like what you just saw me do now. I did... Um, that was an example of starting a fire with a char cloth, and I'll get more into that on another time. Um, knot tying, tripod building, just lots of basic bushcraft stuff that, as I'm showing you, I'm also kind of learning at the same time myself. Um, another thing that's not really in the bushcraft area exactly, but I'm going to be doing some backpacking trips. Like, uh, two examples that I have in the works right now are I'm going to be flying over to Maui, and hiking into the Haleakala volcano and camping overnight in there. So it's about 10,000 feet high and hiking down to about 6,000 to the very bottom of the volcano. And that's going to be a blast. Um, another one I probably in the next month or two I'm going to be doing is a hike down the Bright Angel Trail into the bottom of the Grand Canyon and then camping overnight at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. And I think I'm going to be doing that one with my best mate Nate Dog. Uh, you've seen him in my other videos or at least one of my other videos. Um, really fun guy. We're planning to do that. We're just kind of coordinating our schedules off work and as well as getting the permits that are required and all that kind of stuff. So yeah that's kind of some of the stuff that are in the works. Um, obviously uh, I always take suggestions so if you have something that you'd like to see me do I'd love to hear it. Just let me know what you think would be cool. Anyway, I do have a beer, actually. Alright, so this is a extra special beer this time. This one actually was from Nate, who I was just telling you about. Um, he picked this up for me, him and his lady friend, Ron, who's also a good friend of mine, picked up this beer the other night, and apparently it had to make it through quite the adventure to get to me. Um, I'm surprised that it ended up in my hands, but long story short, this is this is by Barbarian Brewing and it's a one-time batch, so this is the only time I'm gonna be able to have this. Um, it's called Reese's Pieces, so you can only imagine what it's gonna taste like. It's 6.3% uh, and that's about all I have to say about that. Let's give it a try. Nate, as you know, is the other half to my hooliganistic lifestyle. I'm not sure if that's a word, but if it is, if it isn't, it is now. So let's try this. Mmm. Very rich, very sweet. I'm gonna get this poured into my canteen. Cheers, guys. Yeah, that's very, it, it does taste exactly what the name is. Tasted like Reese's Pieces. Um, you can't really see it, but it's actually quite light. I thought it would be a dark color. It's, it's actually almost like a light brown. Yeah, it's very good. Um, so I am really excited to have you come along with some of these upcoming adventures, maybe learn a bit of bushcraft with me. Anyway, we'll see you next time.